I'd like to imagine a dear radar operator staring intently into your radar screen, and all of a sudden, you have a banning officer burst in, saying, we've been bombed, we've been attacked, evacuate now. And so you're running from the corridor to the hallway, trying to get as fast as you can. All these questions are tumbling around your mind. I hope no one's hurt. What's going on? Was it my fault? Did I miss something? What is causing this? Hi, I'm Caleb Ekstrand, Pocahontas County, and I'd like to tell you about the F-17 helicopter. Sorry about that. There we go. The F-117 Nighthawk, the first stealth aircraft. Let's start with the mystery about this bird. It is a product of Lockheed Skunk Works. Skunk Works is a corporation of Lockheed devoted to developing secret weapons. Its first flight was on June 18, 1981. This aircraft is not a prototype. It was a full-size F-117 Nighthawk that was first uh, at its first flight. And it was kept secret until 1988. 1981 to 1988, and seven years of this aircraft not being in existence to the world. It was first based in the Potash Ranch, out in the Arizona desert. And its first mission was Operation Just Cause, the invasion of Panama where two F-117s dropped two laser guided bombs into the Panamanian Army Corps. Okay, you're probably wondering, what makes this plane so special? Why did you want to tell us about it? Well, the answer is simple. This plane is part of a unique group of aircraft called Stealth. Here I have three planes that America primarily uses that are stealth. You have on your left the B2 Spirit, the stealth bomber. Your right, the F-22 Raptor, the stealth fighter. And on the top, the F-117 Nighthawk, ground attack aircraft. All three of these aircraft have one thing in common. They all reflect the radar undetected. So, how did stealth start? Well, it started with the SR-71 Blackbird, a spy plane made built by Skunk Force during the 60s. This plane's only apparent defense was to fly faster and higher than the enemy. Well, it had a secret weapon. It was stealthy. Even though the Blackbird is a very large plane, it looks small if hit on the way radar sees them. Even though Skunk Force was very impressed with the low radar cross section of this plane, Building the plane stealth from the top to bottom, it seemed impossible. It was a joke. The equations were just too difficult. By the 70s, however, computers had grown in speed and power and were capable of doing the equations required to solve the mystery of stealth. So the program Echo One was created. Echo One reveals how radar reflects off of objects. Here's how it works. Radar sends electromagnetic waves into the air. When they hit an object, say a jetliner, energy radiates off in all directions. A strong return of energy to the operator warns him that something is coming. Echo One revealed that a diamond shaped aircraft would channel and reflect energy and not send back to the source. No return of energy, nothing's there. You gotta think again. Well, some other things that lower the capability of the F-117 are the fact that it carries no radar. And so you cannot detect it from the radar coming out of it. And the exhaust is channeled through a series of bricks and it's not and it's cool and duck it up past the tail fin to confuse the heat-seeking missile. And it was painted black, so it's hard to see it right which was the time it would be flying. Well, now that we've finished our stealthy mission, it's time to debrief. Are there any questions?
The question was, what was my answer? Why do I have this interest in this subject? Well, I kind of like aircraft, especially the military ones, and this was just kind of cool. Yes? The question was, I said it's always painted black, but if the camera flies into the background, that was the case. Um, uh, what's not is it was still black. You should picture me done something funky. Yes. Are they ground based or do they fly carriers? The question was, are they ground based or do they fly off carriers? They are ground based. Yes. Uh, Caleb, it looks like you did a lot of research. Uh, as you were researching, what was your favorite thing you learned about the night box? Well, the question was, what was my favorite thing to learn about the night box during my research? Um, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of cool different things. I guess the low radar cross section. I think I read somewhere it's got a few square inches is all that it would receive and that doesn't even put a blip on the radar screen.